Hi everyone, today I wanted to do a post on my first book signing of uh, 2018. So I was able to go to a signing of Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner's um, uh, new book, on Earth. Uh, it is kind of like a Indiana Jones set in space, so uh, I'm pretty excited to start reading it. It was a really fun um, book signing because um, not only were Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner there, but um, uh, Stephanie Garber was also there, and an author that I have never read before, uh, Stacey Lee. So I was able to get uh, one of her books signed. So I was very excited to uh, get this signed. They put uh, For Emma, Onward If You Dare. And then um, when I met Stacey Lee, she was very nice, very sweet. And um, she wrote, To Emma, Follow Your Heart. So uh, The Secret of a Heart Note is about a girl in I guess she has like magical powers and she makes a potion but gives it to the wrong person and then um, uh, she has to kind of make things right because she gave the potion to the wrong person. So yeah, it seems like a really cute, uh, cute atmosphere, atmosphere book. And then, so not only did I get to, um, those book signs, but because they were there, uh, I got the first book of their of Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner's other trilogy signed, um, These Broken Stars, which is also another sci-fi series. Um, so, for Emma, brace yourself. And uh, I haven't read this one yet, uh, but it's gotten a lot of good reviews. So I think I read the first chapter, uh, but haven't gotten uh, further than that. Um, I was able to have Amy Kaufman sign my Illuminae book, which was super exciting because I really, really enjoyed this book. Um, so she put For Emma, Fight Like a Girl, Amy Kaufman. So hopefully, she told me that hopefully her and Jay Kristoff will uh, come to town for their book signing. So hopefully I can get him to sign this and I can have it signed by both, both of them. But I was very excited to have at least her sign it because, yeah, it's one of my favorite books. And I was able to have um, Megan Spooner sign uh, Hunted for me. Uh, this is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast, which was really exciting for me. So for Emma, Beauty is Brave, Megan Spooner. So yeah, it was super exciting. Uh, so I have a couple video clips and pictures uh, to show you guys. So yeah. I write right? the gentleman. Right. Yes. Yep. She writes the boys. And in girls. this one, I'm guessing that you were again. I was Jules, Jules. which was an interesting choice on our behalf, <laughs> given that Jules is the archaeologist and, and I'm the one who actually studied archaeology. Archaeology. Yeah. So I would be like sitting down to write these archaeology scenes, being like, "All right, I know how to archaeol. This is going to be great." <laughs> then Meg would have to go through the chapter and be like, mm, um, "No, we're just going to tweak a few things." <laughs> That's not how it works. Yeah, so how do you yeah. split that? What was the collaborative process like? How do you decide how, what you, how you're going to write it? Well, um, we do a lot of work ahead of time where we just play with the characters because for us, the most the characters are the most important part of our books. For us. So I found it was really interesting that um, Amy Kaufman writes for the guy's perspective and uh, Megan Spooner writes the girl's perspective. and. Um, I, I always wondered how when uh, two authors collaborate, how they how they do that, and it was really funny, um, just that they were just so in sync with each other. And here are some pictures. Here's having my book signed. Totally fangirling, and uh, with the authors, and they were just. Again, so nice and very personable. Here I am getting my book signed. I was totally fangirling. Uh, you should see them signing their books. They are totally in sync. Uh, they're best friends. 
Uh, but uh, Megan Spooner lives in the U.S. and Amy Kaufman lives in Australia. And for them to be as in sync as they are, just in words and actions, it's pretty fun to see. Anyway, I hope you like this quick video. Like and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.